Hey what's going on guys this is Kedar here and today in this video I am going to show you how you can convert your OST files into PST. So without further ado let's get started. Now whenever you have an email account configured as an exchange account all of your emails are stored onto OST and if you want to export your data from one computer to another one unless you have email account configured you will not be able to import those OST files into another computer. So that's why you need to convert the OST file into PST. PST. Now for a bigger OST files, this conversion may take lot of time. But thanks to Stellar's OST to PST converter, you can do it pretty quickly. What makes the Stellar converter for OST different from the other softwares? Well, you can convert OST to PST without any size limitation. It can able to convert encrypted OST into PST, also able to convert the IMAP OST file. And it supports the Outlook 2019, 2016 and older versions as well. Also you can able to export your OST data to office 365 or ms outlook and live exchange so to download this one you go into the stellarinfo.com by the way link is in the description below you can check it out you can give it a shot for totally free heading over to the website simply click onto this free download and the installation is pretty simple just need to click on view next and accept the terms and that's it and there it is it's successfully installed now once you open it up the interface should look something like this and straight up it is asking for the ost file input so you can put your ost file and start the conversion immediately now if you know where your file is located you can click on the browse button and here my file is located onto the desktop and there it is you can open up your ost file but let's say you don't know the location of your OST file. You can simply click on this find button and this software will automatically find the OST file. Anyways, I started the conversion process and you can already see the data is rolling in. And you can truly see it for yourself how fast it really works. Conversion is already completed and instantly you get the preview of all of your data. One of the great feature of this software, you can take an overview of all of your data which is available on your OST file and onto the bottom side here you got few options things like mail so you can quickly access all the mails this feature comes in really handy if you got large OST files honestly I can't stress more on this how useful this feature is then next one we got calendar here you can see all of your calendar events meetings and to-do list and more things of such kind also you got the contacts section and here you can access all the contacts inside your OST file and last one you also got the task option so there it is all the tasks associated with my OST file pretty neat feature right and here into the three dots you got journal and notes feature and additionally you can find and message right inside your OST file. In order to convert the OST file into PST you can click on save converted file and the demo versions allows you to save 10 items per folder. Since I already have the activation key I'm gonna activate this software. In order to activate it I'm gonna put my activation key and there it is. Activation is complete. And once that is done, it says install MS Outlook to save selected data. So you need Outlook to save the data. To install the office into my system, I'm just gonna head over to this link. It's the office.com. You can click on install office and then you can get the office 365 apps. Now once the office is successfully installed, I will try again and try to save the OST file and convert it into PST. So I'm just gonna save the converted file, click over here. Now you can save your OST file into PST, MSG, EML, RTF, HTML or PDF. Also additionally it allows you to do not convert the deleted items. Anyways, I'm gonna select the destination path. So just browse the location and I'm just gonna save it onto my desktop. And clicking on OK, you can see our OST files are successfully converted to PST. Now if I go onto my desktop, here you can see this is the PST file that we have just converted. Now I'm just gonna head over to my Outlook and open the file that we have just converted. So here it is. Just have to go into open and export and then you have to click on to import export and here select import from another program or file. Here you can choose the PST and then click on next. Now you simply need to select your PST file and load it up and there you go. I can able to access my PST file right over here or you can use this PST file in other applications of your choice. Guys I have given link in the description below for Stellar converter for OST for fast and reliable conversion. I would highly recommend you to check it out. So guys that's all for today's video. I hope you found this 
this video helpful so make sure to hit that like share this video subscribe to our channel and this is kedar from how to guys signing out